Welcome guys. I'm back y'all with another video. Alright, so I hope everybody's doing good. I'm definitely, definitely going to be more active here. So let's get into it. Alright, so this is going to be a collective read guys. So this is for all signs. If this message resonates with you, all the better guys. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what's going on in the comment section, okay? Share with your family and your friends as well. Any message for the collective, please? Give me a message for the collective, please. Your message for the collective. All right. Woo. Oh. oh my. Wow. So things might be a little wild. Yeah, things could get a little wild. Okay, so. Let me shuffle up a little bit more, one more time. Okay. All right. So we got the Hierophant here, guys, at the bottom of the deck and the Eight of Cups. Oh, somebody's having regrets. Somebody walked away, possibly from a Taurus or um, possibly a marriage. Somebody's having regrets here. With that five of cups. Somebody's either feeling guilty or regretful. Maybe feeling like some pressure. All right. Yeah, I see some spying going on. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, we got the four of cups. You guys are not too happy about something. There's some disappointment going on here. We got the sun. Yeah, like somebody's feeling a little down. Okay, we got the three of swords. Yeah, there's some really depressive. This energy is really like a. I'm getting like a sad energy. King of Cups. I'm getting like feeling bad for something. Okay. Judgment. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm getting like this is some heavy energy, guys. Some heavy energy. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This is some heavy energy. Tell me why the sun, tell me why the sun is here. You guys could be dealing with the Leo. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here as well, too. Tell me why the sun is here. Two of Pentacles. Somebody's not happy with the a decision that they made. It could have involved some money. It could involve family. There's a separation here. Somebody is separated from their family. Um, somebody's on a break or, or some sort. Somebody left somebody to be a single mother. I'm seeing that as well. I'm getting single mother here. I'm getting somebody that's no longer um, together. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting some, some something... There may have been an ending. Tell me about the four of cups here. The ace of swords. Yeah. I'm getting some disappointing news. Um, and somebody not being too happy with what they heard. Okay. The three of swords is here. 
Five of Wands, yeah. There's some type of disagreement, argument. Something looks... Something looks like there was some type of disagreement and possibly a breakup. There was a fight. There could be three people, three, three to eight people involved, like a bunch of people could be involved. Tell me about the five of wands in here. Something ended for sure with that ten of swords here. Somebody, I'm getting somebody is holding a grudge. Somebody's holding some type of grudge here, or somebody was holding some type of grudge. There was some type of disagreement, um, and something ended with the Ten of Swords. King of Cups and Queen of Cups. Wow. This is very much so heavy. Okay, so both parties... In the situation, you guys were a match for sure. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. It don't like this is a very loving union, okay? This is love. Like both of y'all are on the same page. The love was unconditional. It was very much so a very loving union. I'm getting a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. Okay, I'm definitely feeling that. Somebody is hurting by by something that, a disagreement. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Something just is, is done. Um, Ten of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, like. Something is, isn't working anymore. Something just does not work. It's not working. It isn't going to work. It's something ended. Uh, you and this person could have been in business together. You you built something together. So that's why it's extremely. It's, it's kind of like. When you lose your best friend. Or you lose a business partner. Somebody that you've been in business with for so long. And you know they just up and quit. And now, you know, you're left to pick up the pieces. Is is I'm getting like devastating energy here. Like somebody feels really upset. Okay, so tell me why the ace of cups is here. Yeah, you're looking at the past. I see you looking back at the past. You're looking at memories, looking at photos. You wish you could change the situation. For some of you, for sure, for sure. It's like the death card and the four of wands. For some of you, this is definitely a marriage or somebody that you've been with for a very long time. Like, y'all could have been together since y'all was in high school. I see you looking back at old pictures. Like, just being real nostalgic. This is, I, I really do feel like Dang, it's like both of y'all just, both of y'all, King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, this is soulmate energy. It's your soulmate. Like, you felt like this person was your soulmate. They felt like you were their soulmate, too. Why is the Page of Cups here? Yeah. There's regrets here. And there's feelings of guilt. Um... This is just a really, somebody's deep in their thoughts for sure. For sure, for sure. Mine's the five of cups here. Yeah. I feel like moving ahead, some of y'all. Are going to definitely have to get up, be around people who bring you joy. Okay, some of y'all are definitely going to have to be around family and friends who uplift you because I'm definitely seeing like it's going. 
it's like the Knight of Pentacles. Like it's a slow process of I'm getting like somebody's grieving here. And I feel like if this is you, you definitely need to be around family and friends, people who are going to uplift your spirit, because I definitely see a lot of lounging, a lot of feeling guilt, a lot of, of sadness surrounding a situation. It's like looking at old pictures and thinking about why the situation didn't work. Some of y'all could be blaming yourself for a situation and it's not even the reality of the situation is not your fault, but you may feel that way. Um, I definitely feel like you guys need to be around family and friends. If there's some, if you need uh, therapy, make sure you get the help that you need. Okay. The support. I feel like, I feel like at this time you need a lot of support. Okay, now we got the judgment card here. So you're feeling like judgment day, you know, like a decision, a final decision has been made. Maybe this was your first marriage. Okay, you got the fool and the hierophant. I'm getting, for some of you, why this could be making, why you could be feeling like this is because you're looking at what was built, okay? Now, we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles here. So, this energy is someone who's very well off, like, very, very well off, financially, financially successful, okay? Maybe feeling like, feeling like, you know, you got this Ace of Pentacles, there was a lot of money invested, we got the Ace of Wands. There was things that you were passionate about. Some of y'all, you built a business with this person. You built something. Y'all actually built something together. Okay. But to feel like, you know, defeated in this situation is is it's like it's a lot to deal with. For some of you, this was your first marriage. Your the, your first uh, situation that you may have actually took it serious. So that's why it's kind of got you like in a loop. Why is the page of pentacles here? Oh no, that's too many cards. Two of cups. Okay. Yeah, see, somebody, the person external to you, they left or walked away from the connection. It could be vice versa. Yeah, I'm seeing like not together anymore. Um, something being in the way that's blocking this connection from being at its ten of cup state, which is, you know, the happy life, the just everything in you and emotional bliss. I, I see like this person was planning on uh, working towards something like I see something. I could definitely see something being built between you and this person. OK, now. The high priestess is here in your hopes and fears. Okay, why is the high priestess here? The lovers, yeah. You know that this person loves you. You know, like you guys share a mutual feeling. Like, let's not let's not forget that you guys are the king and the queen of cups. Like this is love, like real deal. Like real love. I see you want some type of justice in a situation. You want the situation to be balanced. You definitely, I, I'm seeing like a lot of people are feeling overwhelmed. There's a lot of, a lot of overwhelm. Like somebody that you may be feeling like you don't have the strength right now. You don't have, you don't have the strength to deal with the situation. It's, it's that, that type of feeling. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Eight of Wands. Yep. I definitely see somebody walked away. Somebody is no longer 
in this situation, like walking away possibly from a marriage. That was a Ten of Cups. That's what I'm trying to understand. This marriage, this situation was Ten of Cups. Why would somebody just walk away and leave? And look at this, the Wheel of Fortune and the Star and the Three of Cups. I'm getting like things were going good. Things were going good. There was a lot of celebrating going on. The Wheel of Fortune, things were just rolling good. Star. This person could actually be like someone big, okay? You found out the truth. You found out some type of truth. You heard some type of, you found out about something. You didn't see it coming. Um... Something happened, you didn't see it coming. You didn't see it coming. And that's why it's, it's affecting you the way that it is. Because you did not see this coming. You did not see it coming. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. Temperance. It's like giving somebody something to talk about. That's what I'm hearing. And I see you being worried. Like, you're worried. Like, dang, this is giving people something to talk about. Because my, my, my life was good. Everything was going good. You feel like this person is giving people something to talk about. This got you worried, frustrated in your head. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Yep. See? Because you you build, you build, you working towards something, building something. And it's like, look, this is giving them giving people something to talk about. Some of y'all are building a brand. I'm definitely seeing that with that eight of pentacles and that nine of pentacles. I'm definitely seeing entrepreneur type of energy. Like you could have been an entrepreneur, you your person could have been an entrepreneur. You were manifesting. You guys are manifesting together, but something happened. Something happened. Something happened. Let's see. Let's see what else I can get. Something happened. Tell me more about this situation. Give me some more information, please. About this situation. Give me three more cards, please. Queen of Swords, yeah. Some type of truth. And I'm getting like somebody saying that this is their first marriage. We got the fool and the hierophant. I'm getting like somebody saying like this is their first marriage. And now you have to be single, judgment, and the nine of pentacles. This wasn't part of the plan. It wasn't part of the plan. Okay. All right, tell me more. Give me another card. What else is going on with this situation? The hangman. So things are on hold. Okay, so you're, you're putting things on hold. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy. The moon and the five of wands is definitely some some jealous type energy. Some got to watch your back with this type of energy. This screams jealous, okay? Third party. There could have been somebody that's in in um inside of the inside of your circle or something like that somebody could have been jealous somebody could have been being sneaky there could have been a possible third party possibly I'm not saying that it is but i'm just three of swords could mean a lot of things this could be a heartbreak this could be an apology but somebody for sure for sure walked away could have been a leo okay because i'm getting something got exposed possibly some truth uh some clarity you got some type of news. 
some of y'all started a business. It was like right when you started, to things started to uh, move forward for you. Now it's like you feel regretful. You feel bad. Somebody here feels guilty. We got the Six of Wands and the Lovers and the King of Pentacles. This person was... The, per the person that you could be dealing with could be very, very well off financially. Like, this could be, like, a celebrity type of energy. Like, or this person is, like, popular. Very well known. But I keep, I keep getting that it's a lot of money involved. I keep getting that you and this person were in business together. We got the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups. There's that Nine of Pentacles again and the Three of Cups. I'm getting like... I'm getting like somebody has some successful friend. I'm getting that that this situation is involving a lot of money. Like somebody is very, 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 very wealthy. Okay. And I'm seeing watch your friends. Nine of Wands and the Three of Cups. Watch your friends. Maybe somebody is super duper successful, but always having to watch their back because of because of their success. Nine of Wands and the Three of Cups. I'm getting maybe you and this person had things planned to to go out of the country. Or to travel. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody is happy with their decision. Okay, I'm getting a lot of back and forth. Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. There's a lot of lot going on. I'm going to say that. Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. There's a lot of back and forth. But I'm getting like planning some type of trip. Maybe that was in the works. But, it's, you know, you got some type of truth, some type of news. Yeah, and now you feel like we got the Queen of Cups here. You feel like it don't even matter right now. Four of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. It's like a missed opportunity. Somebody here could have been playing mind games for control with the Magician and the Seven of Swords. Somebody could have definitely been playing mind games and they're doing it to have control. Somebody got tired of holding that in. But listen, I do want to see why the Queen of Swords is here. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. Things were going good. And then it looks like things got put on hold. Ooh, see, somebody had the perfect marriage. Didn't I just say? Didn't I just say this? Four of Wands and the Six of Wands. Somebody, whoever this is, they, you and this person are like looked up to. So I guess this is why this situation is such a bummer because you guys are looked up to. You are looked up to. Oh, okay. Secrets. We got the High Priestess and the Moon. Okay. And then I tell you, giving them something to talk about. Gave them something to talk about. There was some type of secret. Tell me the Moon. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy could be involving uh, money, finances. Um, could be about something, how something didn't go right in the past. Six of Cups and the Five of Swords. There's a lot of uh, jealousy, en envy. Do whatever they got to do. Step on anybody, Nick. It's a lot of that energy here. Yeah, somebody's feeling bad for something that they did.
Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Judgment. A final decision was made. Okay. A judgment call was made. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Justice will be served. I'm getting, I'm hearing justice will be served. We got justice and temperance. Justice will be served. Something, somebody was hiding something. Could have been hiding money or there was some type of secret here or your intuition was telling you that somebody was hiding something. And if you find out, you feel like justice will be served. Now we got the Ace of Cups here and the Ten of Swords. There's definitely some type of ending. You could be feeling like this needs to end. Yep. Something, a plan, a plot. Of some type of something didn't go as planned. Something didn't go as planned. And you feel, you're feeling, you're looking back at it with regrets. Okay, looking back at the past. And you're feeling, you know, you could be feeling defeated. Because something just didn't go as planned. Just something didn't go as planned. Give me some advice. What advice do you have for the collector? What advice do you have for the collector? What advice do you have for the collector? Yeah, we got the tower. There's some shocking news. That's getting ready to come in. We got the Tower and the Knight of Cups. Something out of the blue. There was some, some shocking news here. That either is getting ready to occur or has just recently occurred. Yeah, it could be about somebody. Um, somebody's popular. Somebody popular. Something didn't go as planned. All right. Give me advice. We got the Empress. This is a situation that is going to, like, when, when, when this tower moment hits, when this news hits, oh, yeah, this is about growth. Ooh, yes, this is about growth, honey. We got the Empress and the Chariot, okay? This situation is definitely going to help you grow moving forward. But something here just is like, damn. Something just wasn't right. Something just wasn't, didn't go right. It is going to require a lot of growth for you to move forward. Um, yeah. Ace of Cups, yeah. There's a new beginning, a new start. But it's going to take some strength. It's going to take some courage. It's going to take a lot of courage to move forward. But I do see a new beginning. I do see a new start. It's just that right now things are on hold. Okay. Things just may have to get put on hold until things get figured out. And I keep hearing justice will be served. Justice will be served. There's a situation that's getting put on hold. So something's being put on hold. Some Somebody has left the situation. But I don't think, I'm not sure if it's permanently. Now, with that Ten of Swords, it does symbolize a complete ending. For some. For some of you, this situation 
could just be something temporary and it's just being put on hold. But definitely it's going to take some growth, some courage and some strength to get get through this. And I feel like you need to get around family and friends, people who are uplifting and who can support you during this time. Because I can definitely feel the energy from that reader that this is just like a trying time. All right. So, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Um, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, that information is going to be in the drop box below. As well, guys, you can check out my website. It's www.empressempireoils.com. That'll be in the drop box below as well. All right. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.